Hello Booktube, uh, today I'm going to be doing the Honest Booktuber tag. Um, I was tagged um, earlier today by Nigel at Reading Ideas and the Honest Booktuber tag was created by Harriet Rosie. Um, I should say that the questions to the tag are on the right here so I'm going to be, so if you see me looking, looking to the right that's why. Um, question number one, have you ever lied about reading a book? Um, no, I don't think I ever have. Um, Question two. Have you ever avoided a book because of the controversy around the content or author? Um, when it comes to the when it comes to controversial content of a book, no. In fact that's more likely to make me want to read the book to find out exactly what the controversy is about. When it comes to the author, no, not yet. And I I read plenty of authors who have controversial opinions. And that doesn't put me off because I enjoy their works. But the only controversy around an author that could possibly make me think twice about reading their books is anything to do with sort of um, criminal, really sort of awful criminal stuff, like stuff involving children. So that might that would make me think twice. But other, if but things like having sort of supposedly controversial or um, fringe political or social attitudes, no, that, that wouldn't um, make me avoid a book at all. Uh, three, have you ever sent, uh, been sent a book for free and not disclosed it? No, um, my channel is nowhere near big enough for anybody to do that and if they did do that, or if anybody does send me a book for free, I will disclose it by uh, t by actually showing, by opening it, open it on um, during a video and thanking the person for sending it to me. So, uh, no, uh, I've never had a book sent to me for free and not disclosed it. Four, have you bought a book with no intention of reading it? No. Though I have on numerous occasions in the past, though I don't do it anymore, uh, mainly because I can't afford to, uh, bought books with the intention of reading them, but never getting around to reading them, which I think is a common experience for people, for people on Booktube and beyond Booktube, I would imagine. Um, number five. Have you ever got caught up in booktube drama? Uh, no. Um, I've had uh, a robust exchange of views with a couple of booktubers in the comments on their videos and I've had in person, when I've uh, been at ease, I had a sort of robust exchange of views with Sean on sort of particularly our issues of politics but he's never been drama and he's always been good-natured and, and sort of at the end of it we've always been we, we haven't, there's no falling out, as it were, due to it. So, no, I've never been caught up in booktube drama. Um, have you ever had a hate comment and did you respond to it? I did have a hate comment uh, uh, back in February on a video I did with Shawnee Stanfast. And it was making personal remarks about me and Sean, and I simply deleted it. Because uh, my attitude towards comments is, if they are making sort of general criticisms of the channel, or they're making criticisms of a particular remark I make, or uh, technical um, uh, technical aspect of my video, so for example, I, in the past I've had a couple of comments asking me uh, to increase the volume on my videos uh, on a couple of the James Bond reviews, book reviews, because they seemed a bit low. But that stuff, fine, that's fair enough. When you make personal remarks about me, or in this case, when I've got a guest on in with say Sean. That's I won't accept. I just delete delete the comment. Fortunately, though, that's the only one I've had to delete. I've never I've not had anything more than that, on um, any more comments like that on my videos so far. Uh, number seven. Have you made a video just because you knew it would get views? Um, the answer to this is yes and no. Yes, in the sense that every video I put up, I want to get views, so I do my best to make it. Uh, try to do my best to make it. Um, as likely to get as many views as possible. But no in the sense that I've not put done a video purely to get views. The, re the, 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 the fundamental reason why I put up a video is because I'm interested, I've read the book, I'm interested in its topic, I've either liked it for the most part, or in some cases not liked it, and I want to express my like a dislike of the book and what I think about the book. But it's never been to put a video purely to get as many views as possible on a topic which I don't have any interest in. So. Um, number eight, if you could go back to the beginning of your channel, would you do anything differently? 
yes I would do one thing different which is when I started I said that every Wednesday I would be putting up a review of either a film, a TV program or a radio show. I haven't done that. Um, I have put one or two film reviews up but, uh, but most of these channels been to do with books and it is going to be about, well it was always going to be about books but I thought I would be doing more reviews of film and TV stuff and radio but that's not happened and I wish I hadn't said that so it wouldn't give people um, a, a false hope about what will appear on the channel. 9. Are there any channels you wish to be more like? Uh, not really. I mean, I like uh, the booktubes I like and greatly admire. Sean De Sandfast, Mark from Book Time is Elvis, Michael K. Vaughan, um, Criminali. Uh, Mike's book reviews, um, James Holder, uh, Rory's anything. I hope there's a huge number of booktubers I admire, I watch, and I subscribe to. But no, I like my channel as it is, and I wouldn't want to sort of make it look more like anybody else's. Um, number ten. What's something you love about your channel? Uh, I'm not sure I'd say love, but I do like sort of interacting with my subscribers. There's a couple of subscribers, and also interacting with other booktubers, so particularly Sean D. Stanfast, who is I regard as my friend, and interacting with various sort of with various uh, commenters and subscribers. So um, Andrew, um, who who was on one of my James Bond live streams, I've had uh, Jim Chaplin, uh, Jenny Parks, the various other sort of subscribers I've been able to interact with, and I. And one thing I would like to do more in the future of my channel is bring more of them on. So I know Andrew's going to come on. I'm doing a live stream on my birthday on the 17th of August, and Andrew says he's going to, Andrew, as far as I know, he's uh, going to be able to appear on there. And I'd love to be able to get more subscribers to come on uh, live streams or take part in videos. Because I, uh, because I, uh, quite a number of my, subscri my subscribers who leave comments are clearly interesting people, and I'd like to get to, to know them more and sort of. Uh, be able to talk to them about books a lot more. And at number 11, tag some people. Right, the people I'm going to tag are Roy and uh, Dr. Jenny. Roy, who, uh, Roy reads anything. Now, Dr. Jenny doesn't have a booktube channel, but she is, I think, I'm right to say, regarded by most people as now an integral part of Roy's channel. So it'll be interesting to see her um, answers to these questions. Uh, the next person would be Jenny Parks. Uh, another person would be uh, Ben at Ben's Book Corner, uh, who's a booktuber, and I highly recommend uh, anybody who's not watched Ben's channel to go and subscribe because he's re he does really good content. Another good uh, booktube channel is Bob Freeman, uh, who's who uh, does a lot of sort of horror and occult stuff, which is really interesting. And finally, uh, James Holder, another booktuber who, if you've not subscribed to, I really would recommend. He's sort of what a store knowledge of. Um, it's sort of, it's a really, it's all knowledge of, um, for if you're ever, it's a store, it's a store of knowledge if you're really interested in manga, and because he's a big manga reader, and thanks to James, I've sort of become interested in manga, and I'm thinking I'm going to start reading that at some point. Um, so with that, I'll say goodbye, BookTube, and I will see you later.